breaking, Trump's lawyer just sent Comey a letter. He's freaking out. This week's biggest news story was the testimony given before Congress by former FBI Director James Comey. He admitted that Trump did not collude with Russia and even that he was the source of one of the biggest leaks in recent memory. Now, thanks to this admission, Comey has received a letter from President Trump's personal lawyer. Mark Asowitz has filed a complaint with the Department of Justice and the Senate Judiciary Committee over Comey's leaking of material intended to encourage that special counsel be appointed via NBC. Furthermore, many in the alternative media have noted that Comey likely leaked twice and thus is guilty of perjury via medium. Comey's very selfish decision to call in his Columbia Law professor friend, which in turn brought the New York Times into the equation, is a very clear example of Comey's underhanded tactics. Mr. Comey is nothing but a political hack and a liar. Amateur sleuths on Reddit have poked major holes in Comey's claim that he decided to leak information to the media after President Trump made threats about taping their conversations. Online posters found that the New York Times published stories about the taped conversations long before President Trump made any comments about their existence. This could mean that Comey was the source of multiple leaks via Reddit. As a whole, the story of Comey's treachery not only paints him in an awful light, but it makes the New York Times, a once respected institution, look like an amateur show run by lazy conspiracy theorists. Even Comey himself chastised the Times for publishing fake news after his own memo leaks were distorted by writer Michael Schmidt. This is not Schmidt's first time in the limelight for bogus reporting. In 2015, Schmidt co-authored a story about how U.S. intelligence forces had uncovered several pro-ISIS, pro-Jihad posts on the social media accounts of the San Bernardino shooter, Tashfin Malik. No such posts ever existed via the Daily Caller. When CNN labels you as fake news, you know you're in trouble. That's exactly what is happening to the Times. The best possible outcome here would be if Comey decided to further testify on Loretta Lynch's efforts to persuade him to change the direction of the Hillary Clinton email server investigation. Doing so would open the floodgates for more investigations into the corrupt world of the Democrats and the Obama administration. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 Hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.